There it is again. Here's how they come into three, Scotty. Actually, you can see on the very underside, what a ride that was. Remember we had last oh year with Buddy Rice getting airborne coming out of turn two when they touched wheels. And here's the situation. Briscoe going underneath. Oh Barron trying to come word. down on the racetrack. They both are going for the same piece of real estate. Canada's Robert Wickens. Oh, that's going to be tight through there. Oh, they touch. Oh, my God. Oh, that's Robert Wickens. And his teammate is into him as well, James Hinchcliffe. That was ugly. That was frightening. Big. Big impact. Not going to hit the wall. He impacts the wall, comes off the wall, just misses the 10 of Tony Kanaan. Unfortunately, Scott Dixon is right there, up and over the front of the car. Mm. Car hits on the top of the wall. The safety cell on these cars, guys, I can't tell you how strong they are. An awful accident, but as we saw, Scott Dixon right there, hands away from the steering wheel. We saw him get out, and when we first went to this frame, when we first saw this accident, you heard some roar from the crowd, and that was because they knew that Scott Dixon was okay in the 70s. To make this all happen, he's got to be thinking inside his cockpit right now. Oh, big crash! Man, oh, major, major incident. Kenny Breck getting way high up into the fence. happened Breck on the high side of Thomas Schechter down the back stretch at the end of the back stretch there's the contact and Breck's car up into the wall well let's take a oh contact was made between Schrader and uh, Sarah Fisher back there she just kind of ran over some stuff but Schrader it's a good one and here they come Bobby Unser going for the lead Johnny Rutherford right alongside him screen are the only thing to stop this car from flying into the crowd there watch now the screen itself is completely destroyed the cables Flinging him back out on the race course upside down and again that fuel spraying on the crowd. That's a matter of great concern and here that pinwheel effect. The alcohol-based fuel spinning out of the car upside down. Another car, Lee Koonsman, I believe, number 16, barely missing the crash. Traffic is going to enter into the equation here very shortly. 16 oh, left to go. Bobby oh, no. it. Pruitt grabs the wall. Got a little high. Back through oh, the inside. I, I, I told you they... Gusting was really bad. You just can't help it. The wind just all of a sudden came up. Car coming around turn number two. And oh, we've got an axe. Levi is on the wall. He goes into a terrible slip, and we have a fire. The engine is ripped from the back of the car and comes tumbling across. AJ Ford is right behind him. He was able to avoid it somehow. But Tom Sleva is in the car. He's moving around. He's trying to get out. An incredible accident on turn number 68. Suddenly, two cars get together, and that was Cheever and Fox. The field darts to the inside, many using the warm-up lanes, which were only built here a few years ago, but probably saved many drivers here today. Stan Fox looks like he got into the wall incredibly hard. We're concerned about him, very concerned. We'll keep an eye, and we won't report anything until we actually have it confirmed. You can see as we look at this second replay, how many tires and suspension pieces began to come off the cars right away and affect cars that really were not part of the original accident. And there's the marbles on the outside there. Sato oh, gets got loose. loose. Oh! oh, no. Oh, my goodness. That is a horrifying ride for Dario Franchitti. Oh, man. That is an oval crash we've seen before, and we hate to see that kind of impact. Just Sato... Uh... Wow. Oh boy! Well, Look what. at the debris go through. Oh boy! And and oh, fencing coming out of the turn. Mario came up on the accident while running at 220 miles an hour, and he hit some debris, and then he held on. He rode out one spectacular crash. Mario walked away with only the, a nick on his chin, about the size of a penny.
and I caught up with Mario's son, Michael, right Here comes Guerrero, oh, he loses it. He just loses it. Whoa! Whoa. Up so high, over the top of the camera. And those two guys were, look at that. The force and that just took those unbelievable accidents. Now that hit on the fence. The car. He's going on the inside of Ryan Hunter Ray. This reminds me almost of Dan Weldon's crash here in turn three and four quite a few years ago. And the car is up into the fence, which is almost reminiscent of Kenny Brack's accident at Texas quite a few years ago, guys. Very, very lucky. You know, he was incredibly lucky that he did not go head into that fence. That is an, a horrible impact. Wow. Loose for you. That's what happened to Will Power when I saw that two years ago in turn number two. Ideally, I think you'd like to be low in particular going into... Oh, we have a huge crash here on the track right now. It looks like Mikhail Aloshan. I'll have to look involved. up who it is. I saw Aloshan earlier was running very close with Charlie Kimball and as Charlie well Scott. Sebastian Saavedra.